What's up you guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be doing something a little different from what I usually do on this channel. And that is we're gonna look at how to get Gmail on your Apple Watch. Now we're gonna do it through this third party app that works extremely well. Um, I was a little shocked that a lot of people don't know about this app. It's called Wristmail for Gmail. And I already have it, so I have open here, but I think this app was $1.99. And if you bear with me to the end here, you'll see why it's totally worth it if you use email as much as I do. So it's on the top chart. It's almost four stars. Um, basically, if you look at the screenshots here, we have the email. And of course, it supports iPhone too, so you can use it as your main like Gmail app. Um, it supports like showing a list of emails, reading an email, looking at folders that you have in your email account. Um, it also supports contacts, sending mail from your watch if you're into that. I don't personally do it, but you can. And also this, which I think is pretty cool, which is this like keyboard type thing, but it works very, very well in terms of typing with your thumbs, even though the display is so small. So let's actually um, go to the app and take a look at it. So we can open it on the iPhone and it loads in our email. But what you guys came here to see, on our Apple Watch, if we go to uh, our apps, and it's not running already, and we run it. Well, maybe it was running already. Oh, it wasn't. It just refreshed. So let's actually close that and show it fresh. You can tell I use this app, like, all the time. Um, so let's go and hit this, and we'll see. We'll get where we left off, and it refreshes it if you give it a second and it refreshed it. So we can see our list of emails here. Um, so I'm gonna find one and tap into it just so you guys can see that you can indeed read your email, of course. Um, so let's find my, there was a UPS tracking email in here somewhere. Well, let's just do a random one for the sake of this video. So this airport parking deal thing. So we see that the email loads pretty fast. It's formatted well, it's all like legible. There are links in here would get kind of long and annoying to read through. Um, but nevertheless, you can definitely make do with what you wanna do uh, on your wrist. Now we can also come up here and tap folders. And we see, if I can tap it, that we get a list of our folders. Um, I am pretty OCD about labels, so I have a lot of labels in here uh, in this account. But basically, if you come down here, we can see we have like starred, unread, spam, um, draft, trash. So if we go to like, I don't know, we can go to starred. Whoops. We can go to starred. And we'll see it'll uh, load in the emails that we have in this folder. And it's pretty fast. I was pretty shocked how fast this was because even like other apps like that I use that are like internet enabled are not that fast. So that's basically that. If you force touch on this, we can get this option to see contacts, refresh and write an email. You can even sign out. So if we write an email, we can uh, get this interface and this supports uh, flick type, scribble, dictation. So we can do something like john at gmail.com. So I think it's pretty cool. Uh, it's definitely helpful. And this is um, this is the only Gmail app actually that I think is available uh, for the Apple Watch. It works remarkably well. Uh, some disclaimers. So you can only use one account at a time, but you can sign in and sign out if you really need to. I know I do that for, um, so like I'll sign in when I really want it for like uh, work emails in the day. And then I'll sign out into my like personal email. Uh, for weekends or like if I'm not working or if I'm out of office. But yeah, this is how you can get Gmail on your Apple Watch. So if you liked the video and you found it useful and you plan on trying the app out, uh, please leave a like below. It helps out the video and the channel a lot. Subscribe if you're new. I do videos on apps, um, iOS development, other cool tech stuff along the way. Uh, anything tech, you name it, we'll do it here. So subscribe if you're new. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful and I'll catch you guys in the next video.